In this video, we are going to see easy ways to find the direction of the induced current for the following cases. No matter what is the current increased or decreased, or magnetic flux increased or decreased, even what the pole is produced. Without doing all this, we can find out the induced current in the secondary coil. So without any delay, we see the answers. See the arrow mark, it is on left side. So the south pole of the bar magnet is moving towards this coil. So according to Lenz law, same pole has to be produced. That is here south pole is produced and here north pole is produced. So if uh, south pole is produced here, the induced current direction is clockwise direction. Okay, next we have to see the coil, how it is coiled. It is coiled like this. So, the clockwise direction should be like this. So, the induced current direction is Q or PQ. This is the answer. So, in this case, first we have to see the arrow mark. The arrow mark direction is on left side. So, south pole of the bar magnet is moving towards this coil. According to Lenz law, here same pole has to be produced. So, south pole is produced. The other side, north pole will be produced. Okay. Now, we focus on this side. If it is south pole, the direction of the induced current is clockwise direction. So, this is the clockwise direction. Before that, we have to see the how the coil is coiled. So, it is moving like this. So, the direction of the current is this one. That is, induced current is uh, this one. So, the induced current direction is P or Q. Okay. So, in this coil, the induced current direction is P or Q, P or P or Q. Next, we see the direction of induced current here. This bar magnet is moving towards this coil. So, of course, here opposite uh, pole has to be produced. So, here uh, north pole, so opposite pole is south pole. So, this direction north pole will be produced. See, if it is north pole, the direction of the induced current is opposite direction. Just you take opposite uh, arrow mark here with this. Here also it is upward, so here it should be downward. This is downward, here it should be upward direction, okay? Okay, this is uh, downward, this is upward direction, this is upward, this is downward direction. Now see the flow of current here, that is flow of induced current. Now you can say the induced current direction here y is at x y or y is at x okay here uh, this is primary coil this is secondary coil both the coils are present on the same axis it is given tapping key just closed so current will be increased the direction of the current is uh, given so magnetic flux will be increased next we have to fix the south pole and north pole so no need to worry about this just see the direction of the current here okay then draw the direction of the current opposite to the primary coil so this is secondary coil so here we have to draw the opposite arrow mark to this one this is upward direction to the parallel side you draw the downward arrow mark so here it is downward arrow mark, so here we have to draw upward arrow mark. Now we can say the direction of the induced current in the secondary coil is 
y is at x. So this is primary coil, this is secondary coil. Both the coils are present on the common axis. The condition is rheostat setting being changed. Its meaning is resistant is decreased, so current is increased. So magnetic flux increased no matter what it is. See the direction of the current in the primary coil, it is given like this. Okay. So take the opposite arrow mark in the secondary coil to the parallel side. So here it is upward direction. So on the parallel side, we can take downward direction. Here it is downward direction. So in the secondary coil, we take a upward direction. So now we have the direction of the induced current. What is the direction of the induced current? Is it y x is it or is it y x? Here this is primary coil, this is secondary coil. Condition is tapping key just released. Before the key released, the direction of the current is this one. So the current direction will be this one. So in the secondary coil, we have to draw the opposite direction of the arrow one. So we get this one. So the induced current direction is in the secondary coil x or y. Now we see the detailed explanation. Here uh, the current direction is this one. So where the current enters into the primary coil should be south pole. Okay. So other side should be north pole. Here uh, key is opened. So according to Lenz's law, Opposite uh, pole has to be produced here. Here it is north pole and this one is south pole. If it is north pole, the direction of the induced current is anti-clockwise direction. So the direction of the current is here. So we are seeing from left side. So it should be like this. Okay. So the direction of the current is that is direction of the induced current in the secondary coil is x or y x or x or y. In this case, it is given current I decreasing at a steady rate. Okay, that is a rate of change of current with respect to time is constant. If rate of change of current with respect to time is constant, no magnetic flux will be produced. If there is no magnetic flux, no induced current will be produced. So here the induced current is zero. I hope you understand the concept very well. Thank you for watching.